Okay. So the three steps that King says that you must take before direct nonviolent action. The first is investigation. The second is negotiation. And the third is uh, uh, purification. Now, investigation uh, it, it is you know, diving into, you know, trying to figure out whether there is, in fact, an unjust law or whether a, an otherwise just law is being enforced unjustly. So, the, you know, the prime example, the unjust laws that, that King is dealing with here in this letter are, are you know, what are called the Jim Crow laws. And these laws segregate, uh, you know, the separate but equal laws, right? They segregate uh, black uh, citizens from white citizens. Right? And, uh, you know, King is very clear. It's not, it's not hard to figure out that these are unjust laws because they'd establish this I-it relationship, because you know, he, this is where he gets some of his uh, justification from natural law theory. And, and yeah, it treats uh, black citizens as objects, right? They don't have rights. I mean, I guess they're kind of, I keep saying the word citizens, but it, it's kind of difficult to figure out how they are citizens under Jim Crow laws. I mean, they're pr certainly called citizens. They deserve to be citizens, but they're certainly, they're not treated like citizens. Right? They're not treated by citizens. Uh, treated like citizens. So that, that, that's the first step, whether it, uh, a, a law is unjust or an otherwise just law is enforced unjustly. So traffic laws, all the things considered equal are, are, are just, right? but they can be enforced unjustly. You can use them to control or regulate or oppress one group of, one group of people within a population right, rather than another. So that's investigation. Investigation, by the way, is not at least it doesn't really kind of explicitly state this. It, investigation is not figuring out who's to blame. You know, the investigation is just whether the laws are unjust or enforced unjustly. Now, that, that's going to be, be important later on, right? And, and, you know, King is, it certainly doesn't say we're going to find out who's to blame. But I also think that he would avoid something like that. I know that seems a little shocking, but bear with me. So that's investigation. A second step uh, is negotiation. And negotiation is when you try to uh, uh, you know, you know, get the authorities to the negotiating table and to either change the unjust law or to have the just law enforced justly. Now, you know, uh, one thing to kind of note about this is that, you know, at least at least as King describes it, this is not just a one-shot attempt, right? So they've done the investigation. They figured out that there's you know, injustice here. A uh, negotiation is like, hey, let's come to the negotiating table. You and you, you and and I, and we're going to work this out. We're going to work this out through reason. We're going to work this out through mutual benefit. We're going to work this out through uh, negotiation. And it, it's not just once. <laughs> it's not like you send the invitation, they refuse. Like, oh, okay, I guess we're done. Now, the way King describes it, you know, they sent the invitation, it was refused. They sent the invitation again, it was refused. Again, you know, it's kind of going back and forth until they finally accept it. Okay. Then they accepted the invitation, it didn't show up. <laughs> so they sent the invitation again, they accepted it, didn't show up. You know, accepted, you know, sent the invitation again, accepted it, didn't show up, until they finally started showing up. <laughs> then the, you know, they, they got them to the table, they showed up, and they couldn't get the other side to agree upon anything. <laughs> and you might think, okay, well, you know, after you at least get them to talk and agree upon, then you give up. No, King kept pushing negotiation, right? He was exhausting every last opportunity for negotiation to work. He didn't want to get to a, a direct nonviolent action. I mean, I, I really think in King's mind, if they got to negotiation and the laws were changed, like, hey, hey, you know, this is great. We don't need to go any further, right? Well, I mean, I mean, that's kind of what happened, right? Because, you know, they got them to the negotiating ta table. They got them to make some concessions, to agree, to make some changes. But then they broke the promises. So, you know, King tried it again. And they made, they made promises and they kept breaking them. So, you know, after a certain number of times where they make promises and they continually break them, it's like, okay, well, now negotiation is not doing any good. We gave them every last opportunity to change they said they were going to change. They broke their promises. You know, there's nothing else you could do. 
as far as negotiation is concerned. So, you know, imagine after this point, after negotiation, they make up their mind, okay, we're going to do direct nonviolent action, but they had to prepare for it. They have to train themselves. And I use the word train very literally. Purification, the point of purification is to be able to uh, answer anger and abuse with passiveness. Right? Being a pacifist. Um, being a pacifist is not easy. Right? It takes strength to fight. Right? Strength, you got to have strong arms to actually engage in combat. Um, but to be a pacifist takes probably stronger will. Right? Because you're getting hit and abused and just absolutely tortured. I'll use that word, tortured. Right? And they didn't fight back. They could have, but they didn't. And that's what purification is. Purification isn't you know, this process where you say, aha, I am better than you. I can tell you why I'm better than you, because you've been unjust and I haven't. That, that's not purification. Right? Um, purification is not this you know, you know, process by which you what, make your soul right with God. He's not, not even doing that. Right? You know, I mean, King's certainly a, a, a preacher, but that's not, even, that's not even what he's talking about. Purification is, you know, they train themselves. And you know, I've seen some videos. I can't find them anymore. I don't know what happened to them. But I have seen some videos for these uh, training workshops where they are yelling at each other in each other's faces. I mean, like drill sergeant yelling at each other. And they're accepting the abuse. They even... I think what was that? I think there was at least some you know slapping like open hand slapping trying to get people used to the idea that yeah you're going to get hit yeah. and it, you know if you can't do that part if you can't do the self, the purification part kings you know it's like no don't don't go on to a direct nonviolent action because you can't do it you'll go violent right? you'll you'll <laughs> you'll hit back okay so those are the three steps investigation Negotiation, purification. You take those steps. You have to take those steps, according to King, before you even get to any direct nonviolent action. And if you can't do it, King says, you know, don't. Just don't even, don't even get started. Don't hit the streets because you're not ready. <laughs>